Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought another interesting problem for all of you from Pathfinder. Uh, some of my students were facing a problem uh, in this uh, one, so that's why I decided to do a video on this. So let's uh, get into the problem. So here's the problem. Let me read out the statement. Lenses A and B of focal lengths 7.5 cm and 20 cm respectively are placed at distances 15 cm and 60 cm from a point source of uh, light S. So this is the focal length of 7.5 cm. This has a focal length of 20 cm and the distances, this distance is 15 cm and this distance is 60 cm. Okay. The source is on the common principal axis of the lenses. The aperture radii of the lenses are 2 cm and 10 cm respectively. So this is the aperture radius, this is 2 cm. Uh, that means aperture diameter will be 4 cm and here this is the aperture uh, radius of the second one and the aperture radius for the second one is given as how much? 10 cm. So this aperture radius is 10 cm and this aperture radius is 2 cm. Okay. If a screen is placed behind the lens B, a circular light spot will be obtained on it. At what distance from lens B should a screen be placed so that the light spot on it has minimum radius. So we want to place this screen uh, somewhere so that the sp spot that is formed on this has got the minimum possible radius. Also find the radius of this spot. So if you want you can give it a try. I will get, get into my analysis right away. Okay. So let's see my uh, analysis of the problem. Now the crux to uh, doing this problem is to get the ray diagram right. And to get the ray diagram you have to first do some preliminary calculations. And after you do the preliminary calculation this is the qualitative ray diagram. This diagram is not to the scale of course that you get and I will be showing you, showing you all the preliminary calculations that lead to this uh, ray diagram. Okay. So uh, what's happening here? See, uh, so there are actually two final images produced. So one image is formed due to the uh, processing by the lens A as well as lens B that is this point D. This is the image that is formed by processing through both the lenses. Now it turns out that the apertures are such that uh, some light can directly reach the second lens without crossing through the lens A. Some light can directly reach the lens B and this again will get focused and gets focused at this point E and I will be calculating these distances QE, QD and all these uh, various geometrical distances I will be calculating and once I calculate the geometrical distances now it's very easy to after that it will be very easy to fi find the minimum radius of spot. Uh, as you can see from the ray diagram, this is the region which is illuminated uh, by processing from both the lenses and uh, if you just see the region which is illuminated by processing through only the lens B, this is the illuminated region that's uh, shaded in the orange. This will be illuminated from the bottom and a sym symmetrical kind of arrangement you will get from the top also which I have not shown in the figure. Okay, So now uh, uh, this orange part is uh, the illumination due to the processing from lens B alone. The, uh, the rays which have somehow directly reached the lens B, they are being con they are converging here. And now uh, what happens? Suppose you put the screen over here. So where, how much of it is illuminated? What is the illumination radius? So if you put the screen here, you can see the orange uh, one is uh, most distant from the principal axis, this orange region. And the outer edge of this orange region will be the spot radius. So I want the spot radius to be smaller. So that means the union of the, uh, the the orange region and this blue region that is the spot anywhere. Okay. So I want that the union, uh, the outer boundary of this union of the blue uh, region and the orange region uh, should have the minimum possible radius. So if you see where is that point located. So I have marked point F. You see this point F is the uh, point where the spot radius is minimum. Why? Because if you go beyond spot F, you see the orange uh, region will increase. Uh, the orange region has moved farther from the principal axis. Whereas if you move behind uh, this uh, F, so you can see the uh, blue region has increased in size. So this is the point where uh, the spot has got a minimum possible radius. Okay, And now we'll see quantitatively uh, how to work it out, uh, this distance uh, uh, of the spot radius from the principal axis. Okay, so let's see. So as per the shown ray diagram, the minimum spot radius occurs at point F. Beyond this spot radius due to the red rays increases. And uh, before this point, the 
radius due to the blue rays increases as uh, I just mentioned and uh, uh, I hope you understood this part okay it should have been increases okay now we shall calculate the distances PC QE OD and QL so what are these distances here is the diagram so I want to calculate this PC and QD and QE and uh, uh, some other distances I will be calculating PC QE QD and KL and given information is F1 is 7.5 cm F2 is 20 cm and we know these apertures the this aperture radius is 2 cm and this aperture radius is 10 cm okay so now let's apply lens formula to uh, this one lens am uh, i have marked the point m in between so or maybe m can refer to the lower point of this lens so lens am if you apply the lens formula 1 upon pc that's the intermediate image so if you want you can uh, draw uh, another ray just for completion so there's some ray going like this okay and then it's passing uh, this entire blue region is uh, formed due to the processing from both the lens okay so 1 upon pc that is 1 by v minus 1 by u so u is your minus 15 so 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f and if you solve this this gives you pc is equal to 15 centimeter so we could have also seen it directly because this lens has 7.5 centimeter focal length so this is at 2f so image is at 2f that is 15 centimeter so pc is 15 centimeter and qc will be then 30 centimeter not 45 centimeter this should have been 30 centimeter uh, so let me write it properly so this is 30 centimeter how so you see this whole distance is 60 this is 15 so this hole is 45 out of which this is 15 so this must be 30 right and once I know that this is 15 and this is 30 so I can also calculate QK distance you know that these two triangles are similar triangles this triangle and this triangle are similar triangles so if this is 2 units and this is 15 is to 30 that is 1 is to 2 so then this distance will be 4 cm as I will be calculating showing the calculation later on also okay so I have calculated PC and uh, CQ okay now CQ is uh, the point C uh, serving as object for the uh, le uh, second lens okay so again I am applying lens formula to the lens HG for object at C so this is HG lens okay so so 1 by V that is uh, 1 upon QD minus 1 by uh, U that is 1 by minus 30 okay 1 by QD minus 1 upon minus 30 is 1 by 20 and if you solve this you get QD is equal to 60 centimeter okay so this distance comes out to be 60 centimeter okay now uh, this so we have found the uh, image final position of the image due to processing from both the lenses that is 60 centimeter okay now we'll find the lens uh, the image position due to processing from lens uh, B alone that's due to the rays directly reaching lens B okay so u is minus 60 and uh, focal length is given as uh, 20 centimeter so we'll be finding out so uh, applying lens formula to f2 directly for red rays so 1 upon qe so this is the final image position qe uh, from the, sorry qe is this much this is qe let me use another color pen so this is qe and uh, this is the final image position from the lens so 1 upon QE minus 1 upon minus 60 you see this was uh, U is minus 60 here okay uh, is equal to 1 upon 20 that was the focal length of the lens okay so that gives you QD is equal to 60 centimeter okay so QD is 60 centimeter okay uh, sorry QD we had worked out uh, so 1 upon QE this one I have calculated sorry I repeated the previous equation so 1 upon QE minus 1 upon minus 60 is 1 by 20, uh, 20 that gives you QE is equal to 30 centimeter so this distance is 30 centimeter and this whole distance is 60 centimeter okay and uh, now I want to calculate the distance of point F from the axis so I am going to do a little geometry so I am trying to make a highly magnified view of this part something is going on here and uh, uh, I also need to calculate this theta uh, I will be cal considering the magnified view of triangle FED so in triangle FED the, tri uh, the angle FED is theta and angle FDE is phi and I will be magnifying this and before magnifying this I will try to find out tan theta and tan phi because I will be requiring them in my later equation so what is tan theta so if this angle is theta this angle is also theta 
and if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta okay q e g is also theta so tan theta is nothing but q g upon q e so q e is 30 centimeter and q g is the aperture radius okay so q g upon q e is 10 upon 30 aperture radius was given so tan theta is 1 by 3 okay now what about tan phi so phi is this angle and uh, tan phi can be calculated from the uh, triangle k d q so from this triangle we can easily find the value of tan phi so tan phi is nothing but q k upon q d right q k upon q d so now how will you find q k so you can use similar triangles you see q k is this length and uh, so uh, you know that this pm is 2 cm the aperture radius of the first lens is 2 cm and these two triangles they are similar triangles okay and the ratio is 1 is to 2 so if uh, uh, pm is 2 cm then qk is 4 cm right so qk is 4 cm and qd we calculated uh, qd so d was supposed to be this point this is supposed to be point d uh, here I have shown this is point D so QD QD was uh, the image from the uh, uh, the image formed by processing from both the lenses that was 60 centimeter right so 4 upon 60 is tan phi so that is 1 by 15 okay so now uh, I can uh, now I need to find out the uh, distance uh, of f the perpendicular distance of f from the principal axis uh, that's the required radius of the spot okay so I have drawn highly magnified image of this portion. So here you can see this is triangle FED. I have dropped the perpendicular over here and mark this angle as theta and mark this angle as phi. Let's say uh, EW is X and WD is Y. So EW is X, WD is Y. And the total distance ED is nothing but the distance between two final images. So this distance was 30 centimeter I calculated and this distance is 60 centimeter. So ED must be 60 minus 30 that is 30 centimeter okay so ed so that is this x let me use another color uh, operating in so this is x and this is y so x plus y is 30 centimeter that's what i've written and you can see uh, x tan theta so this uh, vertical fw this is the required spot radius which i'm calling as r minimum so fw is x tan theta as well as y tan phi so x tan theta is equal to y tan phi and I put the value of tan theta as 1 by 3 and value of tan phi as 1 by 15 as I calculated. So if you do these this so x plus y equal to 30 and x by 3 is equal to y by 15 putting the value of tan theta and tan phi. If you solve this you get x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 25. So x is 5 and y is 25 so what is the spot radius? So x is 5 so spot radius is 5 tan theta and tan theta is 1 by 3 so spot radius is 5 by 3 centimeter right and uh, that's what I've written so uh, with a little calculation so spot radius is r minimum is x tan theta that is 5 into 1 by 3 5 by 3 centimeter now what about the location of the screen you see screen must be located at this section that is passing through uh, f and uh, the distance of the screen from uh, the lens then simply becomes what that is QE plus E, I mark this point as W, QE plus EW, okay. So W is this point, right. So W is foot of this. So here the screen is passing. So QE plus EW and EW is X. So QE was calculated to be 30 centimeter earlier. QE was 30 and, and uh, FW, sorry, EW is the distance x which was calculated as 5 centimeter so 30 plus 5 becomes 35 centimeter okay so the screen distance from the second lens must be 35 centimeter so that's a final answer uh, some uh, a little bit of visualization and a little bit of calculation uh, not very difficult problem but uh, it's a nice conceptual problem for good visualization in optics so that was the analysis and i hope you um, enjoyed this analysis and uh, uh, this helped you in some way and uh, if you enjoyed the analysis please do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever cord you use for networking with them and uh, most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel right now because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video for all of you uh, frequently and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always God bless you all. Thank you.